Welcome back to another Waffle Wednesday. Um, I hope everyone's well and I uh, hope you're still enjoying the channel. Um, I've got a couple of things for you today and uh, one of them which I'm really quite excited about to tell you um, is um, I've had another uh, gift sent to me in the post uh, by a lovely chap by the name of Jim Rollins. Is it Rollins or Rollins? I think it's Rollins. Um, and Jim has sent me these things that he's made. I've got to just show you these things. They are absolutely amazing. So the first gift that he sent me, look at that. Now that is some work, that is, isn't it? Absolutely fabulous piece of craftsmanship. I'm just so amazed um, by the gift that I've received from Jim. Um, just totally overwhelmed. I couldn't believe it. I emailed him straight back and said, Jim, I can't believe that you've just made these things and sent them to me all the way from, I think Illinois is where he's from. Not only this, this little bad boy as well, not only that, this as well. This has all been handcrafted by Jim um, and this opens up inside and you've got this, um, you've got this stuff inside here. I've never seen this before, and uh, it's quite amazing how you just find out these things and you learn new things every day. But this stuff, and some of you will probably know about this. This is called flocking. I've never heard of this at all. Um, I was thinking to myself, it's really some some nice velvet that he's put inside there. But I was trying to find out what. Well, He's really got it in there really well, you know. I can't even find an edge or anything, you know. He's, this guy is amazing. Um, but after contacting Jim and he tells me that this is called flocking, if anyone's heard of that, I don't know. Some of you might have done, some of you, you know. Or am I just being completely stupid? I've never heard of it. Um, but it's absolutely amazing. And I've bought some of this stuff now, and it's like a powder, I think, as long as I've got the right stuff. Just spray this with glue, and you put this powder all around it, and it's, it just feels like velvet. It's just, it's just really nice. I could kind of sleep on it. But, I mean, so this guy has made this to me. Look, there we go, look there. Handcrafted by Jim Rollins, um, 2017. Um, so he sent this massive box down to me, all the way from um, Illinois, um, along with some other bits and pieces I haven't finished yet. All these pen blanks in here as well. Um, for me and Charlie, said you and Charlie can kind of like have a little play around with all these pen blanks. Um, look at them all. I mean, that's just amazing. And um, I've said this to him. I've told him, I said, Jim, this is just unbelievable. He sent me a little note down. This is his card. So it's um, Edwardsville Area Woodworkers. Um, and they basically meet every Monday um, at 7 p.m. at uh, Glen Carbon Senior Community Centre. If anyone knows where that is, 157N Main Street behind City Hall. If that makes any sense for anyone, if you want to go down there and, and you know see if you can meet everyone. Membership's free, so it's like a membership. It's like a members club. Yeah, woodworkers. There it is. Is where this guy's from. So they obviously have like a little club, and they 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 make stuff. Um, but you can join, I think. I think you can join. It's free to join, I think. Their website is Edwards Villa. I'll put it in the link. I'll put it below. So just in case you guys want to check him out. Because um, this guy is pretty amazing. I mean, the quality of this workmanship is just absolutely amazing anyway. Um, but again, just overwhelmed, Jim, for you to send this down to me. I'm so chuffed. Thanks so much. See, in the letter, it mentions like putting one of these in the shop. Now, I could do, but I really want to put it in the house. I, I think it's too good to put in the shop. <laughs> Although, it'd be nice to probably have it on kind of like display. So, I, I probably will keep one of them in the shop, but I'm kind of a little bit reluctant to because I want to put it in the... I actually think, you know, this would look really nice in the living room or the dining room. Um, so thanks very much, Jim, for sending those bits and pieces to me. That's really kind of you. Uh, this is Jim. He's also bought a little mug off me as well. So uh, and he's uh, uh, so he's going to be drinking lots of tea in Illinois. <laughs> um, now what else has happened? Recently been to a car boot sale. I tend to go to car boots. I don't know if they're called car boot sales in the states 
or not. Um, and, um, and the reason why I mention that is because I've got a lot of um, people that follow the channel uh, from the States. And you don't call it boots, do you? So you call them trunks. So maybe it's like, a, is there a car trunk sale? Just, or you just, you just call it something completely different. Or maybe you don't have car trunk sales or boot sales. But anyway, I tend to like to try to go, if I can get up early enough, because they're really early, to, to car boot sales in the UK. Because you can find some really interesting stuff which you can use in your shop or you know try to create stuff out of one man's rubbish is another man's treasure I go rooting around for stuff so I've bought a few bits and pieces I'm going to show you today one of them is this little candle holder I think it's fairly old kind of candle holder and it looks fairly worn um, but what I thought I would do with it is just make something like a bit more like ornamental over it. I get it all cleaned up, we shine it all up really nice, and I love shining things. I've got this fascination with shining things. Do you ever have that? You get something that looks really dull and you think, I could shine that, make that look really shiny. You know, um, a bit like um, uh, Gollum from Lord of the Rings. Not listening, not listening. Um, so, and then once I've get it all shined up, I was gonna make something for each one of these holes. Now obviously these are for candles, but uh, that's just a traditional boring way of what this is used for. I thought I'd make it into some sort of piece, and what I had in mind when I purchased this, uh, whether or not I do that or not, I don't know, was basically making um, some kind of like pencil uh, resin sticks that just go in there, just as like kind of pieces of art as such. And then you just have that as that's it. So you've got the pencil sticks coming out, resin through it. That was kind of what I had in, I, in my head. I don't know if that's going to work out, but I bought that anyway. Next thing I bought was this eagle. And again, another something else that I can shine up. That would shine up really well. Now, again, after cleaning this up, we get this all cleaned up, polished. It would look really nice. Then I thought I'd make something out of wood. Um, like an ornament type of style thing, maybe something round with a flat base and then we would cut a kind of like uh, something in the top for this to sit inside. This would be the piece, so it'd be like some kind of like an ornament um, and this kind of looks like it should be on some kind of an ornament anyway, like a, or maybe a car or something, you know. But um, So I thought I would do that as well, that, I thought that might look quite nice. Now I love doing restoration projects and I found this little old bowl. And again, quite an old, whoop, quite an old tiny bowl. Um, and um, sometimes it's quite nice to do a little bit of restoration now and again. So um, rather than make the whole bowl, what I thought I'd do is I bought this um, and I thought that's a nice bit of wood, got a bit of character to it. So I thought we would get this on the lathe on a day where I'm making a project and we tried to sort of do something with it. You know, funk it up, make it something different. Maybe put some milli put inlay in there. You know, put uh, the the emblem in the bottom. You know, um, shine it all up really nice. Just make it look really different from what it is now. It goes to show what you can get from these old boot sales. You know, and and looking through other people's junk um, and rubbish um, to make something really cool out of it. You know, people chuck away so many things, um, and you might look at that and think, actually, you know. Don't throw that away. I could make something really cool with that. I think we can make something really cool with that. Just a couple of these little things, little sequins. These are little sequins. I thought that might quite look quite cool in maybe a resin project. And some blue sequins, again, would look quite cool in, in a resin project. The last thing was this. Now, the thing that in, uh, attracted me to this is it's got some inscription sort of writing on here, and you can't really see it that well. But um, I thought, well, that obviously kind of means something. Um, it's a little bit old fashioned and I like old stuff. So I thought we would clean this up and somehow, and it's got sort of like a hole here and a hole here. Somehow we can again have this on a piece of like an ornament or a bowl or something that um, just to sort of like, you know, funk it up a bit. I haven't got my glasses with me, so I can't read it. I should go and get my glasses really, shouldn't I? So it says the flying cloud, that's the inscription at the top here, and then it says, God it's really tiny writing, one ship drives 
drives east? No, no, no. Yeah. One ship drives east and another drives west with the self same winds that blow. That makes any sense. Don't know. Tis the set of the sails and not the gales which tell us the way to go. It's a poem, isn't it? It's kind of kind of cool. I thought that might look quite nice somewhere. And we clean this up so you can read it a bit better, so you don't have to put your glasses on to read it. Although I can't see, can't read anything these days. Um, so yeah, I think that's quite quite nice. So you can pick up all sorts of different little things from car boot sales, you know. And and again, I'm not sure if you can, if you guys uh, in the states have car boot sales or not. But uh, we certainly do here, and we love them. <laughs> Some of us do, anyway. Um, so, uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Found this in the garden, and again, I thought this might be quite a cool little project. This was just sat there on the grass when I come home today, and I don't have any pine cone trees. It's a pine cone, isn't it? A cone is that? Acorn. It's not an acorn cone. I'm sure it's a pine cone. Anyway, I don't have any of these trees, so I've no idea where this has come from. I think a squirrel might have brought it in. Saw that, and it was just sat there on the grass, and I thought that would look kind of cool in some kind of project along the way. So I got this, and I thought this was quite cool, because it's got a really old-fashioned switch, look. See that? Really old-fashioned. I love the way this looks. Now, looking at that, and as a woodworker or wood turner, um, I kind of looked at that wood and I thought, you know what, that, that, I could get that to come up really nice. Get rid of this and maybe replace it with another one, another piece. Um, we'd probably have to replace the wire. The plug definitely wouldn't work, <laughs> here anyway. So we'd have to replace that. And then maybe we could shine this up or replace this. But then not just that, not just a clean up project, I was going to make some kind of a um, shade again, not out of pencils, but maybe a resin stroke something shade um, that would just sit over here um, and it would be a nice little bedside lamp. So I picked that up as well and I just thought that that was quite oldy sort of like styly and I kind of like that idea. So if you ever get the chance to pop out to a car boot sale, Go down to one. They're really cool because there's so much stuff that you can just rummage through. Um, and uh, if you're like me and you like rummaging through stuff, a bit like Storage Wars. This is the wild factor. Isn't it? You know what I mean? Have you seen Storage Wars? Storage Wars is obviously big over in the States, isn't it? Yeah. Um, and, uh, you know, they, they just go through all these big containers that people just don't pay for anymore. And then they sort of like bid on the containers. Although they're just bidding on other people's junk. <laughs> feel like there's really something great inside. Getting close to 30,000 subscribers. So thanks very much for all of your support. So once we hit the 30,000, I shall announce our next giveaway. So that will be quite exciting for some of you, hopefully. Thanks again for all the support for uh, Charlie's channel as well. I uh, just wanted to say thanks for, for, for you guys going over there. That's really cool. If you haven't seen Charlie's channel, it's in the link below. Also, I just wanted to mention to you as well one thing. Um, and I do mention this on an upcoming video because I've made another video which I haven't put out yet. I made this video just literally when I come back off holiday. Um, and then I decided not to post it. For some reason or another, I thought, I'm not going to post that now. I'm going to make another video, and I decided to post that one. So I know I've got a video made already, um, which I did literally straight after the holiday. And I mentioned a few things in there which I'm going to repeat now. So the thing I was going to mention to you, I do have an Instagram um, account. And uh, for those of you that um, have an Instagram account, um, if you'd like to pop over there and, and follow me, that would be really cool. And if you haven't got an Instagram account, um, you could always create one, they're free, um, and you can follow me on there. The link is below for my Instagram, and the reason why I say that is because 
Um, I've got quite a few followers on there already, which is quite cool, and I really appreciate that if, if some of you already follow me on there. We'll see a lot of you on here that um, probably don't have Instagram, but it's a really cool place to just kind of just keep up with stuff. It's nothing like Facebook, so if you hate Facebook, it's nothing like that. It literally is just, I'll take a picture of something that I'm probably making or going to make or that I feel that's relevant to my channel, and I'll post it. And what I do do on Instagram is I do post a lot of things that you won't see on my YouTube channel because I make other things that I know don't necessarily video and will show my YouTube followers. Um, <coughs> and I'll post it on there. Um, not all the time, but there are occasions where you will look at it and go, I've never seen that being done on a video before. And that's because I didn't do a video of it and I probably just did it and I just put it on Instagram. You tend to put a lot of stuff on Instagram so if you wanted to follow me on there check me out on Instagram. Uh, so that's it really guys thanks uh, very much for joining me today although it might have been a short uh, waffle uh, I hope it was entertaining in some kind for you. Please give us a thumbs up if you wouldn't mind and uh, please comment below I love listening and, and reading your messages Sorry if I haven't got back to everybody yet on comments. As I say, it is very hard to try and keep up with everyone. I do comment back and I'm still very much trying to catch up, still. <laughs> um, so, um, and I do like to interact with you and um, I think that is important. Although a lot of YouTube channels don't seem to bother with that. Um, but I'd like to try to keep up as much as I can with it. Whether or not that, that will get more difficult as time goes on, I don't know, but um, I'm always about if you need me on email, so you can always ping me an email and hopefully I'll see those as well. Thanks very much for joining me. I hope that the waffle was good. Um, don't forget, if you wanted any waffle t-shirts or mugs, I do sell them on my website. There's a few on there. Um, as I say, there's not a huge amount, but I still have a few uh, if you wanted to pop over there or some waffle stickers and stuff like that. Or if you've got a sticker that you want to send me, Pop me a sticker and we can do some sticker swapping. I can send you one, you can send me one, and I can get you up here and I can give you a shout out. So anyway, thanks very much guys for joining me. I appreciate everything uh, and appreciate you guys watching. And uh, hopefully I will have some kind of project for you this Friday. Not sure what yet, but maybe that big log that I forgot that I showed you the other day. If I can make it work. If not, then it'll be something else. Thanks, guys.